There is no blood on our flag, no black spots, no swastikas. The Ukrainian flag symbolizes land, peaceful, fertile, golden land without tanks. Symbolizes sky, peaceful, clear, blue and without rockets. Always have been, always will be. Twelfth day of war in Ukraine, and again Russian army attacks civilians using undefended sky. They hit Mykolaiv city with the smirch rockets, hit the infrastructure and residential buildings. Eight rockets hit Vinnytsia, a town in the central Ukraine where the civil airport was located. One rocket aiming at children's hospital was shot down over Kyiv. Non-human tactics are still widely used against civilians. In Mariupol, where the sides agreed to create an evacuation corridor, Russian troops attack it constantly. Evacuation failed. Russian army then mined all the ways out. Same method in Irpin. The city is destroyed by the Russian artillery. People try to leave it every day. But the Russian soldiers are attacking evacuation lines with bombs, mines and automatic weapons. Today the evacuation under fire goes on. In Irpin and Bucha, Russian occupiers search and kill civilians hiding in basements or trying to run. Russians shell civilians, take women, children hostage, place ammunition in residential areas, artificially create a humanitarian crisis in the occupied settlements. This is a rude violation of the international humanitarian law. In the Zaporizhia region, the tank with Kadyrov troops crashed the car of the post service delivering pensions. Both workers died. The real heroes these days are the public utilities and the fire they continue to repair damaged infrastructure. The International Tribunal started working on the evidences of the Russian war crimes, and there is one more proof of non-humanity. The captured pilots informed the name of the Russian general who ordered to bomb the city of Kharkiv. He was actually born in Kharkiv himself. The previous day several planes and helicopters were shut down. While the world-leading military institutions are not in a hurry, regular people all over the world provide incredible help and coordination. The volunteers, private companies and international funds help refugees and send money and equipment in support of the Ukrainian army and those in need. Volunteers continue to join the International Legion of Ukraine. Former British militaries are already heading towards the hotspots. Long live Ukraine! Huge international pressure on the world leaders. With undefended sky, the humanitarian catastrophe in Ukraine with murdered civilians is only getting bigger.